in this video we'll learn about caching in laravel so what caching is where we can use it how we can improve the performance of our application using it let's get started for example in your application you have some data uh, that won't change much and you are uh, you are fetching that from database every time the page loads or every time user goes to any other page and stuff like that so you can cache that data to uh, reduce uh, the load to your server for example in this application web dev forum uh, website this is uh, there is series for that where we built this uh, website so in this application uh, here are some tags or categories so all these categories are coming from database so whenever user goes to any uh, other uh, forum sorry any other page and uh, any other uh, for example if someone goes to home it will still be there and in other page let me log in first so see in this page also we can see this in home page basically the thing is uh, we are facing this from database so what we can do is uh, this thing do not change as much in our application so only from backend we can change these tags or you can take them like a navigation items which don't change much so it is a good idea to uh, cache these items instead rather than fetching it from database every time so it is just an example you get the idea so uh, you can uh, cache those items which don't change much in your application which takes uh, time to fetch so we'll start by uh, setting up the cache driver in our application so there are different drivers you can use these uh, but in this app, in this video we'll use database uh, driver these are external services we'll cover them later but uh, in this video we'll go with database first we need to uh, create this schema so we can create using cache table artisan command and run that command okay so migration created successfully let's migrate that migrate it now let's go to config cache so this is the file where you get information about what are the caching driver available to you and all these things yeah for simple stuff like that you can use file as well okay so let's go to dot env and uh, change cache driver from file to database okay so in our application uh, there is a layout front layout so in this layout you can see we got these categories which are these categories and if you see inside yeah we're looping through all these tags and just showing them so this uh, this tag variable is coming uh, is not coming from any controller because we need to uh, make this available for uh, every all views since we are importing it on our layout and all other content will be inside this but it will be it will be loading for every pages so to pass that tag variable we passed it from app service provider so here we are checking if there is tag table or not and then we are setting this tags variable we are fetching all tags from database so every time it fetches all tags from database so uh, we'll uh, cast this result so first of all let me make this uh, variable tags so in documentation you can find information like how you can get the cast key but uh, all those but first we need to put it into cache and then we can re uh, retrieve it so uh, if you see here uh, sometimes we need to retrieve item from cache but also store a default value if requested item doesn't exist so it is what we want here so we want uh, want all tags but if if it is already there uh, we don't need to uh, tags and remember tags so uh, for how many minutes you want to store that mm, let's give minutes and from here we'll return all tags so we don't need this okay so for 100 minutes we'll just 
so remember this tag so we'll get value from tags if it is already in cache otherwise we'll fetch from database so that's what it means and we're passing that value to here so everything should work so you can import this cache facade there and it should work tag all sorry about that okay so everything works so now we successfully cast the result so you won't see performance increase because it is small application so if it is a big application you can see uh, that okay let me show you how caching will help in big project to reduce load time and to reduce the load on our server so this is uh, the project that I work on here if we refresh this page uh, let's see how much time it takes to fully load the page so currently it is not optimized so no caching everything is pulling from database so this uh, is taking too much time placement graph data so if you see time it is taking 12 seconds 2 seconds 5 3 this, mil this is okay so total time is 16 seconds okay so this is a very slow application let's uh, use caching to improve okay so the request that is taking longer is this placement graph data so first let's uh, Im uh, increase this optimize this so it is taking 11 seconds so let's cast that data to reduce the load time so yeah. so that endpoint we are hitting placement report controller so this is returning the graph data so this is fetching the report data so here we are doing a lot of calculation stuff that's why it is taking time so what we can do is we can cast this result and return uh, the cast result so that uh, those report data uh, won't change um, more frequently so we can cast for at least uh, 15 minutes 20 minutes that will uh, greatly in increase the performance so i will create report data i'll comment this out so we know how to use cache remember and we can gi give the key name it to and we'll keep this cache for 10 minutes and then function and if data is not available we'll pull from database let's paste that return so if there is data in cache with this key name it will return that result otherwise from fetching from here so since we are inside closer we need to pass these use placement report and filters okay so we pass those these data okay so now it should be much faster let's check this out we don't need this let's open our console so on first load it will take exact same amount of time because it need to cache that result so on first load it is caching the result see it is taking same amount of time okay so now all data are in cache so now data is cached so now if we reload again because now we now we will not hit database to fetch those, uh, those data it is on cache so if we refresh now see yeah instant it takes just two seconds previously it was taking 12 seconds right yeah much faster so I hope uh, you learned uh, something about caching from this video so if you do please like and share and I'll see you in the next video bye